Today is Friday the 13th, a day shrouded in superstition and often considered the unluckiest day of the year. This age-old belief has fascinated and puzzled people for generations. But where did this superstition originate, and why does it still hold such power over our collective psyche? The roots of Friday the 13th being deemed unlucky stretch back to ancient times. The number 13 has long been associated with bad luck, with various theories explaining why this is the case. In Christian tradition, the number 13 is linked to the story of the Last Supper, where Judas Iscariot, the disciple who betrayed Jesus, was the 13th guest. This association has cemented 13 as an ominous number in Western culture. Adding to the mystery is the day itself, Friday, which has also been considered unlucky in various historical contexts. In medieval times, Friday was associated with Execution Day, a fact that contributes to the day's negative connotations. The combination of these elements into Friday the 13th creates a potent brew of superstition that continues to affect people's behavior. Interestingly, the fear of the number 13 is so pronounced that it even has a name, Triskidkaphobia. This fear is often rooted in the idea that 12 represents completeness or perfection, 12 months in a year, 12 zodiac signs, and so on. As such, 13 is viewed as irregular and unsettling. One notable figure who was profoundly affected by this superstition was the Austrian-American composer Arnold Schoenberg. Schoenberg, a highly influential figure in classical music, had an intense fear of the number 13. This phobia was so severe that he went to great lengths to avoid it, even misspelling the title of his opera Moses and Aaron to avoid having a title with 13 letters. Schoenberg's fears were cruelly realized on Friday the 13th, July 1951, when he passed away on this date, further intensifying the day's association with misfortune. Schoenberg's experience illustrates how deep-seated and personal superstitions can become. Many people today still go out of their way to avoid anything associated with the number 13. For instance, many hotels and airlines skip the 13th room or seat to avoid causing discomfort to superstitious guests. This avoidance is a testament to the persistent influence of these age-old beliefs. The enduring nature of Friday the 13th as an unlucky day highlights how superstitions can become ingrained in our cultural fabric. While some dismiss these beliefs as mere folklore, others take them seriously enough to alter their behavior on this day. Whether you view it as a day of potential misfortune or just another date on the calendar, the psychological impact of Friday the 13th remains a fascinating example of how deeply superstition can affect us. Stay subscribed for more videos.